Hello and welcome to a brand new series of Halloween attractions in 2022. I'm going to be trying to do around 10 days of attractions and uh, going around. The, the idea is I'm going to see if I can do attractions. I'm London based so can I get to it from London? There's going to be no overnight stays and can I do it with public transport? So we'll see. The first attraction we're going to be checking out is of course Madame Tussauds in London. You're probably thinking that's not really a Halloween attraction but it used to have the Chamber of Horrors in there. That's gone but what they do have now is Alien Escape. You also notice over there they've got a dome and above it there's a little planet there. And the reason for that is because it used to be a planetarium. That's changed now and it's a Marvel 4D experience. So I'm gonna be checking that out and see what that's like. I think that's been updated recently. Uh, and today's gonna be a bit of a Marvel theme. So we've got this, which has got some Marvel characters in there. We'll check that out. And then I've got another Marvel thing, which we'll check out a little bit later. Now this was all possible, of course, because I got myself a Merlin annual pass, but I didn't want to spend the full price for it. And I didn't want to wait until the sales. So how did I do it? Well, I found out that on the O2 Priority website, I could get a deal and get 54 pounds off. How? I don't even have an O2 SIM card. Well, I went onto eBay, I got a SIM card for 99 pence, put it into a spare phone, topped it up, and then I managed to get access to the website and got 54 pounds off. So we're gonna be going checking out a lot of Merlin attractions during these 10 days of darkness, but they're not all gonna be Merlin. I will be sprinkling in a few other attractions. So let's start off with this one. Let's go in and check it out. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. No, thank, thank you, thanks. Thank you. We've got Cumberbatch doing um, an award ceremony here. How strange. Now, of course, we are on Baker Street. What makes it interesting is I, I like to call it the Sherlock breakfast. If you go there, it's uh, Cumberbatch sausages with uh, eggs Benedict. Let's go to the next one. Well, that's the rock. If you smell, then have a bath. Meantime, I got bigger fish to fry. I'm trying to get a video with Tom Cruise, but it's just impossible. Okay, so there's a way to avoid alien escape, but we're going in. Oh, wow. Look at this. So um, this looks like a Prometheus kind of thing. Yeah, I love Michael Fassbender, especially as Magneto. So this is going to be good. Scary. Let's go. Let's go into the spaceship and find out what's going to happen. So this guy's been suffering from back problems. I'll save you, I'll save you, I'll get you out of there. Alright, I'll come back for you later. Oh, that's, that's, that's not good. Oh no, there's an alien. Oh my god. So Xenomorph. Ah! Oh, King Kong. Now I really love the um, Jack Black movie. So of course this is the uh, Monster Universe one. But it's fine. We've got a different Sherlock over there. Or Bond, James Bond. Okay, so what is the correct order for the James Bonds? All right, so you've got 
Sean Connery. Roger Moore. No, sorry. You got Sean Connery, George Lazerby, one more Sean Connery, then Roger Moore, then Timothy Dalton, then Piers Brosnan, and then finally Daniel Craig. They told me they told me to come down the sound, have a little fun, but no! I'm stuck in this tin can! Uh, can I take your breakfast order, madam? Judy Dench, but if she was in the rain, she'd be Judy Drenched. So she's having breakfast, but she's just hungry. You shouldn't play with your food. They've got Shrek, that's interesting. I'm actually booked to do a Shrek experience later in one of the days. Uh, there's a full Shrek uh, attraction in, uh, near Waterloo, so let's go check that out at one day. Now this is classic, This I remember this last time I came. You've got the original Average Hitchcock, which always classically appeared as like some sort of cameo in each of his movies. I think someone's having a shower there. Sorry, madam. Oh, it's Kim Kardashian. I tried to get into a race with her once. I just couldn't keep up with her. You know, I wanted to know what they were going to do with the queen once she passed. It looks like they've removed her and I thought, oh, what a shame. But, but, if you look over here. See, she's there, it's great. Ah. My man, Justin Bieber, remember, I am a believer. Uh, he's been waiting for me, look. What can I say? He's my fan. Who's that? You know what, I really fancy a bag of sweets. You know, like a, a pick and mix. But all I can find is a little mix, so. Hello, madam, can I take your coffee order? Would you like it tall, venti, or um, grande? What's this guy's name? William? It's Freddie Mercury. Well, I like to call him a nightmare on the moon. So this actually is Madame Tussauds, and it started out as her taking wax uh, molds of like dead people's faces, and um, that's how it all started, and it became quite popular. So that's how Madame Tussauds began. So it talks about the process of how they actually make the faces, but what makes me think this could be used for making cyborgs in the future with artificial intelligence. Terminator is on the way. Who knows? I'm a cybernetic organism, model 101, series 800. I've come from the future to protect you. Get out. You know, I really love this bit. They've got a, a ride where you get into little taxi cabs and it takes you all over kind of like the history of London. This is my favorite part of the entire thing. I'm gonna really enjoy this bit. I really love this ride. Marvel Universe section, we've got the Hulk, we've got uh, Spider-Man, so that's really cool. I think we're going to get ready to go in and check out the 40 movies, so we'll see what that's about. So I've picked up my uh, 3D glasses, got Iron Man over there. You could even like pick up popcorn <laughs> if you want to go in. But uh, 
So it looks like it's a 3D movie. Gonna go in and enjoy. So the Marvel 4D experience was uh, amazing. I really enjoyed it. Had a great time. So now, looks like I'm on a Death Star or something. Time for some Star Wars. Oh, the Darth Maul fight scene, I love it. Oh, so they've got Dark Anakin on the planet Mustafa. Ooh. So you can sit down with Han Solo. The question is, who's going to shoot first? I don't know. I came to see Freebio. Now what you probably don't know about Stormtroopers is um, they've got a lot of controls like the old VHS recorders. If you actually look on the back, you see there's a record button and a pause button. <laughs> mm. Come to Madame de Sultimus. Mm. <laughs> So uh, Darth Vader just gave me some paternal news I wasn't expecting. What? No! And this season's bikini outfit will be demonstrated by Princess Leia. Good, good. Strike me down with all of your hatred and your journey to the dark side will be complete. Do it. Can't you guys just talk it out? Come on, what's going on here? <laughs> so we got Ray, we got uh, BB-8. Really cool. How you doing? That's nice. Well, there you go. That's uh, Madame Sussaud's Done and Dusted. I had a really great time. There lots of fun things. Hope you enjoyed a lot of the gags that I was trying to come up with. So uh, now I'm going to go on uh, the Metropolitan Line. I'm going to go up to a secret location because we are going to go to our next Marvel attraction let's go so i am ready for my second adventure in day one uh it's going to continue with the uh, marvel theme uh, i'm in a top secret location uh called wemby park and <laughs> it is uh of course secret cinema's um guardians of the galaxy so i'm really looking forward to it i signed up bought the tickets last night had to go onto a website and i had to choose um which of the six clans that I wanted to be, so I chose the purple clan. I then had to uh, pick up, um, I had to get clothes or something, but I, haven't, I didn't have time to get those. But uh, I needed a CD to trade, and uh, I had to learn a dance move and some kind of like song. So it's gonna be interesting. Now apparently down the bottom of the stairs is where I'm supposed to meet um, some people, some ravagers that are gonna take me to the show. Now obviously I'm not gonna be able to film it, but we're gonna go in and check it out. So I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> so that looks like the Ravagers. Okay, so I was told to just carry on going down the road until I meet another Ravager and then they'll tell me exactly where I need to go. So that's interesting, so I'm gonna do that. Found the next Ravager, so I'm gonna go and check that out, find out where I need to go next. Okay, they've uh, told me to carry on walking straight, so getting closer and closer now to uh, Wembley Stadium. It's quite interesting. Um, I haven't got the exact kind of clothing that they wanted, but I do have a Back to the Future t-shirt, so I'm going full on 80s. The CD that I picked up to trade is of course another 80 CD, so that's gonna be quite interesting. So we're gonna do like a full kind of Star Lord type of style. <laughs> so let's go and see what's gonna happen. Okay, so looks like I found the uh, next person. They're gonna tell me where we need to go. Over here we have Dark Star. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm in Dark Star as well, but I didn't have any purple. <laughs> so oh, well. it'll, so be fine. it'll be good. Looking forward to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it should be good. Okay. So I made it to uh, the actual place for the top secret location for Guardians of the Galaxy. There's a gathering of the clans. It's going to be six teams have to compete against each other to actually get as much points to be the winner. I'm with Dark Star. We're going to find out if it's any good. I'm ready, let's do it. So I have completed um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I got in about six o'clock. They put your 
phone in a bag and they lock it up so you can't use it. Uh, unless of course you take two phones and give them one of them. <laughs> but uh, it was really good. You, um, there's two like big massive rooms. One is Contraxia and the other one is Nowhere. It's two different planets. And um, I, the main mission I had to have was to go and find someone um, that was the leader of my clan. And it told me on the paperwork to go to Nowhere to find, find them. And I was looking for, for ages to try and find, I couldn't find them anywhere. Uh, and then I went to the other planet and I managed to find them there. So they told me to try and get involved in different things to try and earn points for our clan. And uh, there's a big scoreboard on the wall that tells you exactly at which position each clan is. And you have to go around and try and earn credits. Uh, so when I gave my CD and I earned credits for that, um, there was a, a guy that I was, he was saying, what is it? I said, it's, it contains all the music from the planet Earth. And he was like, okay, you need to find a device to listen to it. And I said, no, just hold it to your face for about half an hour and you'll start listening. And he just was holding it like this. So <laughs> that was quite fun. Uh, I went around and it was, there was lots of different things in there. Uh, I grabbed some food. It was like a chicken wrap I got for about 10 pounds. And um, yeah, it was fun just going around and enjoying it. It was, it was really good. And in the end, you go and get to see the movie. It was uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And uh, what was unusual about this compared to previous secret cinemas was there was no actors that did anything during the film. They had lights on the ceiling and those would like activate and, and light up at different points in the film, but there was no actual actors in there. But, um, you know, it's something that is on Disney Plus and easily skippable if you need to. So it's quite interesting. Um, so yeah, I had a really good time. It was fun and uh, I definitely recommend it. Like with all, um, bits of secret cinema um, when you've dressed up and you've finished the event there's a moment when you're going back into public where you go from blending in to standing out luckily I don't have that problem today but uh, I do remember that happening to me while I was dressed up for the uh, Star Wars one uh, in fully in like Jedi robes and uh, there's a point where everyone just starts looking at you and you start looking at everyone and you're going going on <laughs> also right at the end of the interactive part there was a big massive choreographed fight scene it was like acrobatics it had all the characters that you know from the movies so that was really really good i got moved along here because um, they're filming some gangster granny outside uh, wembley arena so uh, i'm <laughs> just walking home now so that's really good um i really enjoyed it that is the end of day one we have enjoyed uh a some great stuff a lot of them to do with marvel so we did um madame two swords and tonight we've done guardians of the galaxy it was a marvelous day <laughs> and the food was marvelicious join me next time for day two where we are going to be going to legoland for brick oh treats <laughs> until then bye bye